So you want to become a DevOps engineer part two. In this video, I want to talk to you about another aspect of DevOps expectations, and that's to do with the continuous delivery. What is continuous delivery? It's about establishing a pipeline from the source code to the cloud resources. The cloud resources in part one is the infrastructure as code. That's, that's how it's set up. Infrastructure as code sets up the cloud resources for your application to run on. Now, getting the source code to the cloud, you're probably thinking, shouldn't this be the developer's job? And I would probably agree with you. But as a DevOps engineer, I'm supposed to come in there and, and help establish that. And, and, and people say that DevOps is 80% culture nowadays. What does that mean? It's, it's about me coming into an organization who's used to dropping releases every few months and trying to get them to do releases as frequently as possible, several times a day. If this sounds familiar, maybe it is. Maybe it's called rolling updates. Maybe it's something pioneered by Arch Linux. And I would say, so yeah, Arch Linux, the rolling updates is kind of, and the culture there is, is what I'm, I'm trying to uh, establish in, in different people's organizations. That's the 80% culture, rolling updates. Gone is that big uh, sort of uh, drop, but more of incremental delivering value um, every day, which is also awesome with web, web applications is that you can seamlessly update. So with these... With this pipeline stuff, you're probably going to hear lots of weird terms like blue-green. That means shifting from the old application to the new application without dropping a request. You might hear continuous integration. That kind of means establishing some checks and testing before you you um, you know drop it into production. Um, con CD continuous delivery. I think it's best just to just call things continuous delivery. Okay, I think that's the terminology I like to settle on. Continuous delivery, that's the goal. Delivering value reliably every day as frequently as possible. Like even if the client doesn't have something to roll out, you want to be you know, automating the build and, and being able to, to show that you can just deploy the existing build again and again reliably. So as an Arch Linux user um, or, or a Linux user, the skills that you probably picked up over a couple of years, you know, installing apps, perhaps, uh, you know, patching an app, making it, you, you know, you're 80%, <laughs> sorry, Jesus, 80%, you're probably 80% on your way to becoming a pipeline engineer, right? The 20% that you're probably missing is just, having the stomach for all the bullshit that's associated with these with these pipelines like Jenkins and all these sort of proprietary um, workflows, GitHub workflows. These things are incredibly painful to develop and work with, a bit like infrastructure as code. You know, the feedback that you get when you work with GitHub Actions or Travis, it's just it's just a total pain. And this is what a DevOps engineer is supposed to be experienced in and do. So, yeah, good luck to you. I mean, you have my sympathy because I'm having to, to deal with it. You know, in the, in, the, in the good old days, you would just use make and make deploy and you'd be able to do an incremental build and, and an incremental deployment. But, of course, with, with um, these automation pipelines and, and Docker and containers, you're building from scratch every damn time pretty much and you're deploying using these steps in some proprietary language, which is difficult to replicate locally. So I guess my parting message is, yeah, I, I, hate, it, I hate it when I see DevOps uh, pipelines and automation that basically kills off local workflows. You must always have an ability to deploy locally. And I've seen you know, development, development teams kind of disenfranchised by DevOps people because the DevOps people are like, no, you're going to use this pipeline. This is the way you're going to deploy your software. You should be able to always deploy lo locally and test locally. Otherwise, you don't want a scenario where the, the developer is just pushing 
to a pipeline and you know washing their hands that is, is a terrible thing you know you, you don't want to rely on on a pull request and all this linting to make sure the code passes and all that stuff because you have just have you'll have developers twiddling their, their thumbs half the time you want to have a good local experience and the other thing um, that I hate to see is just and, and to combat that I usually just just uh, you know whip out my stopwatch and and I just time how long it takes to to build and deploy something it really should be like less than a minute it should be a few seconds ideally but it can run into like minutes if not hours in some places so so your job as a devops engineer is to reduce complexity and make things fast and sort of bridge that gap between code and the cloud I hope that made sense. Please like the video and subscribe for more. And do comment below if I missed something or you want me to explain something. I'm happy to help and share. Bye, guys.